the sale of fake drugs. Fake and counterfeit drugs. A lot of uh, fake drugs. We know that there are people who, who want to do some illicit things. These are drugs that people will consume. Women and death. It's criminal. You bring in fake drugs and somebody die. Killing probably people in hundreds. Put a check to these fake and substandard drugs. Navdak. 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 What are the advantages of the true scan over conventional methods? What this can do is some of the things you can do in a lab. The advantage of this is that you are able to take this kind of facility to where you want to use it. But for conventional laboratory system, you cannot move. You need solid infrastructure. You need electricity. You need water. You need trained personnel. You need experienced people, you need reagents, specialized ones. But all this has been condensed in a simple instrument that they call the two scan. So NAVDAC has taken advantage of these new technologies to do work. And in that regard, we have been able to go to very remote places. We have visited 19 states of the Federation. I've been to far from places like Ilela on the Nigerian Niger border, Bakasi, right? very close to the Atlantic. Eket, some of the very remote locations where people want to sell counterfeit products because they believe people are not very aware and so on. How does it work in practice? You can use it to test for drug samples. I'm going to demonstrate for capsules. This is original. This is original Bisham Ampiclos capsule. This is referred to as a vial. We need just about two or three or such capsule. We fill up this vial. Uh, we have the vial holder already attached to the aperture of the true scan. This is referred to as a vial holder. There's an aperture through which the laser beam will get to see this sample here. And then I want to check for Ampiclos. As you can see, Ampiclos 500 already delivery actually has different drug samples whose signatures have been acquired and stored on the system. They are arranged in alphabetical order, just like you can see. That is Ampiclos 500 milligram capsule, right? We want the true scan to check whether it is genuine or counterfeit. Within a couple of minutes, it will return a result. All right, just like you can see, there's a pass result. Now we'll go ahead to test the other one that is actually a fake one of we'll market F. Last year was very productive because we continued with uh, cutting edge technologies to fight counterfeit medicines. Uh, in fact, our efforts were being recognized worldwide. We have been invited by the U.S. Council on Foreign Relations to make presentations that uh, the, we formed the documents that will be incorporated into the uh, documents that the Obama administration intends to present before the next GA summit coming up in Chicago this year. Uh, the effort, uh, effort has been recognized to a point where we've been invited to other countries to share our experiences in using this new technology to fight counterfeit medicines. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, there are other organolectic texts that we normally carry out. For example, Ampiclos has a characteristic odor, smell, just like that of penicillin. But if you actually perceive this, you realize that it doesn't have that characteristic smell. And so you can tell. Beside that, the, the shell is so brittle that it breaks at a little pressure, unlike that of the original. More so, you also realize that the content is fuller than that of the genuine. These are other preliminary tests that we normally carry out to okay, carry out 
before we actually do the actual run. And then you can tell. Okay, so you have it in the valve now. You get into the valve holder. And then we want to do a check. Also for Ampiclos 500 milligram capsule, like I told you, we have obtained the original sample from the manufacturer. We copied the signature into the system. And now the true scan will be reading through the signature of the sample and match it, superimpose it with that we have copied. If they are in tandem, it returns a past result, like the other one you saw earlier on. And if there's any little deviation, it returns a fair result. It looks into the active ingredient, it looks into excipient, and every other thing that makes up the product. Now we'll run for this. You will observe that uh, for the genuine samples, it took less than two minutes to obtain a result. Now, when it's taking a while, you begin to suspect that something is going wrong. Because having taken the signature of the sample, it tried to superimpose it on that of the genuine. And if they don't mark peak for peak, width for width, any deviation, it carries out a, uh, a perform post-analysis uh, verification, just like you can see now, performing analysis, verifying the material, what exactly it is. It tries to look into the library and see what does it look like, what is it synonymous to. And then you have a fail result here, just like you can see. This new form of technology with its enormous advantages have been used successfully in various parts of the country. The hinterlands remains a challenge and that is why we have acquired this TrueScan. TrueScan, uh, we have a TrueScan team that just pays surprise visits to the states, uh, every state, and they go there. We have visited 29 states so far with the TrueScan team. And they go and uh, pay a surprise visit, they do not tell somebody where they are coming, when they are coming and they just show up. They close your store for a few hours and they can check the quality of medicines in those stores. So that is helping. And then these tech messages are now helping to drive counterfeiters even from the hinterland. Because, in, you know, every, most Nigerians are now, ha, now have cell phones and most of them can take and verify the authenticity of medicines before they buy. The text messaging system uh, actually was designed to put the power of the detection of counterfeits in the hands of the Nigerian consumer. Because of the increasing difficulty in identifying counterfeits uh, occasioned by the sophistication in printing technology, where counterfeiters can print, uh, 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 make printing on their, uh, their fake products that look like, looks even sometimes better than the, 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 the genuine products. We try to use hologram to protect our products, medicines. And uh, just before we started it, we found a counterfeit medicine that already had holograms while the genuine one had, had not yet applied the, the holograms. So the counterfeiters want to stay ahead of the game. So to enable us give more meaning to the NAVDAC number and to, uh, to enable the Nigerian consumer to detect counterfeit medicines, we came up with the, the text messaging system just like uh, because realizing that Niger about 80 million Nigerians are conversant, conversant with texting. They buy their Richard cars, they scratch, find the PIN number, and, and they use it to, uh, to uh, upgrade their credit on their cell phones. So the same method we are using. Uh, and it has uh, proven uh, very successful so far. A few companies, a few products were being counterfeited almost out of business. The scratch and text, uh, for short, in, the, in our technical parlance, we call it the mobile authentication uh, service scheme. Mm -hmm. It is uh, built upon, modeled after our GSM system, mm -hmm. whereby you buy a recharge card, you scratch it, and certain PIN numbers are revealed, and you load it, mm -hmm. and uh, your credit is on. So now that has decided to leverage your IT technology, uh, particularly, uh, that was very one of the uh, most innovative and creative approach that Dr. Paul he has brought to bear on NAVDAC uh, uh, regulatory activity, particularly with the fight against counterfeit drugs since he came on board. Uh, we have discovered that the fight uh, against uh, counterfeit drugs like, has become a ding-dong battle whereby it's a game of wit. 
the counterfeiters, as you move ahead, they're also trying to circumvent whatever uh, measures we have put in place. And we came to a, 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 at a point whereby uh, we have been trumpeting the idea that people should look out for NAVDAC registration number. And uh, the, the best before, uh, that is uh, the date of manufacture, expiry date, back number, and all those labeling requirements. But the counterfeiters are also watching, and they've gone ahead to see how they can circumvent this process. And they were almost succeeding until uh, Dr. Polo, he came on board and felt that the only answer to this problem is to uh, adopt cutting edge technology. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that has been the joker that we've been playing all this while since he came on board. So the, we have a checklist of uh, several technologies that, we, that he has brought up to bear in the fight against counterfeit drugs and other mm -hmm. substandard regulated products. But the most appealing one that has put the power of detection of counterfeit drugs in the hands of over 80 million cell users in the country, cell phone users in the country is the scratch and text uh, uh, service uh, system, what we call the mobile authentication scheme. You enter into a pharmacy shop yeah. for the scratch card, you request for the product, and just like you have the, M uh, the, the, the MTN, the Glow, and all those scratch cards, then you, you see the silver lining something and scratch it off, and certain pins it, it, are revealed. It, 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 and the pin number, you text it, you text that pin number to 38353. That is the code. Okay. So it goes into it, and within a minute, the answer comes back to tell you that the drug is okay. Mm -hmm. And if it is fake, it tells you that it's fake, and you don't buy. So we are appealing to, uh, to customers to ensure that they do not pay at the counter until they have seen the result. My customers, I think they are they, they more have confidence now than before. I have uh, like, uh, if I make an example of the Ampiclos Bicham, when the customers for Ampiclos Bicham, you will see the customer bringing out his or her phone, taking the number there, trying to send the, an, an SMS to confirm if it is an original. And you see the customer, they are more relaxed to, to that finding. And then it makes them to, be, to, to, to come more and patronize drugs. The issue of a, a products that you text, uh, you, you check the standard of uh, products by checking the numbers. I think I really commend them for that. They really did a nice job there. Once you buy, you check the number, you text the number to NAVDAC, they will give you a confirmation uh, uh, approval. You know the popular say that if you want a Nigeria not to know, get an information, you put it in writing, so you wouldn't read it. Nigerians, most of them come in, they buy whatever they want to buy, they don't have that time to scratch anything and text to anybody. But a few of them, in fairness to truth, will come in from time to time and ask, okay, I want to see, they'll scratch and text and they returns, so they're happy. You know, to that extent, the technology is fantastic. You know, and it gives confidence to the customer also. And also reassures the dealers, the pharmacy shops, because you can sit down and boast, I cannot sell fake products. So if you want, confirm. You know, it gives uh, authenticity to whatever you're doing as a, a seller. And also reassures the, the customer. From the users, from the consumers, some say that the, the test, the listing, and the, the, what they get sometimes error, or it does not exist. So in other words, maybe it's, uh, our Nigerian need to improve their IT industry. I don't know where the problem lies from. Although occasionally we have received complaints of certain delays here and there, but obviously it's understandable because even in network where you want to call people, you experience some network. That is because we're leveraging on the cell phone uh, uh, system. We know that NAVDA has its own separate platform. So the, some of the problems you encounter in terms of quickly getting a response when you send a text message is also uh, uh, particular. But we've been working closely with the cell phone uh, operators uh, uh, to see how we can this thing can, can be made faster. Because somebody who is sick and wants to be a cold draw does not have all the time in the world to start waiting for. And most of the beauty of it is that it is in all the GSM uh, system, be it uh, MTN, Glow, uh, Airtel, uh, it is a lot. Uh, they are on all the, all the platform. Again, so three, eight, three, five, three, is three, eight, three, five, three. Label? It's on the label. Okay. So it, it once you scratch, it reveals uh, how you are going to go about it, okay. uh, and tells you how to go step by step. And tells, just like when you want to reload, reload your uh, recharge card, it tells you how to what to do before you can reload a, a, a specific card. It's very simple. 
and user-friendly.